with another two page layout for two page Tuesday today. These are some photographs from July 3rd and I'm using a red, white and blue theme here, even though not everything is necessarily red, white and blue. So I'm starting out with a background paper there and that background paper is that hard paper from Bella Boulevard Hearts and Ombre. It's the Macintosh paper. And then the blue paper that I'm using to map the photos on the left is Amy Tangerine Picnic in the Park, All the Colors, which is a paper I absolutely love. So I'm, I'm wanting some of the blue paper on the other side. I don't have a ton left. So what I decided to do is just put like a seam down the middle of that paper so that I've got it on both sides. So I'm not mirroring or anything. It is a two page layout, but I'm, I'm using the same papers, but in different, the same paper, but in different ways on both sides. As I was going through things and I had just pulled out like some of my patriotic collections here, I saw that border sticker and decided I would definitely use that. I loved it. It's from the Bella Boulevard fireworks and freedom collection. It's the doohickey stickers, which is what they're calling them now. So I just got the matted photos down and then the sticker down. So I have 10 photos here on two pages and they are, they're not four by six, but they're darn close to it. Um, they're four inches high, not quite six inches wide um, because my these are all from my phone. So they come out a little bit smaller than four by six, unless I crop them differently. So I did decide that I wanted to feature that photo on the left there or on the left page at the top because it's a photo of all of us in the boat on the lake. And so I just grabbed some basil white cardstock going with the red, white, red, white, and blue. So then here I'm using my mat to make sure that I'm getting that kind of in the middle there. I'm, I'm only going to show one row of dots there. So I'm just making sure that I get the row of dots that I want to see. And so my friends have a house on a lake and they have a boat. I went over to help them decorate for the next day with my boyfriend. We were going to help them. We ended up really not doing much decorating, ended up having dinner with them and then going out on the lake. And they do fireworks um, on July 3rd on the lake. Plus they had this floating music barge. They had a stage. Um, the top photo there on the left is a stage that's on the shore, but uh, faced the lake. It was a really fun experience. And then they had fireworks on the lake. Plus when we were on the lake, we could see fireworks from, I think six or seven different other places. It was fantastic. It was so much fun. So I wanted to, you know, get that in there. So a couple of photos of my boyfriend and I, you know, a photo of all of us there. And then a photo of the fireworks and the music stages, which just just a really good time, a really great memory. So I've got a sticker there that I'm thinking about using, but I'm going to kind of, I looked to see if anything else would work. I found two stickers there that I really like. So that's again from that uh, Fireworks and Freedom Doohickey sticker sheet. So I added um, the Happy Birthday America um, I loved that fireworks and freedom there added that party like it's 1776, which I thought was cute since we were very, um, you know, July 4th, uh, July 4th themed. I guess that's what I wanted to say. Kind of playing again, just looking for more stickers things that I can use. So I found that 4th of July and which it's really the third, but you know, it's celebrating the 4th of July and then the fireworks up there. So things that like, I just can't necessarily use on any layout about summer. I was trying to get them on this page because it's very, you know, it can be very themed because it is about the fireworks. And then I found that puffy sticker, um, from, the Ellie Studio 4th of July puffy stickers from, they were from 2019. So you don't, you can't get them anymore, but it, there was one that said friends. And I thought that was great because I was with friends here. So that was kind of fun to find that as well too. So just little elements here and there. So now I'm looking, I want to do a title and I'm thinking I want to do, um, something about like fireworks, July 3rd or something like that. And I wanted to use red, white, or blue and decided I wanted to use white 
So when I looked at this sheet, I didn't have everything I needed, but I knew I could MacGyver a Y out of a V and then just that three there. So I'll put July 3rd on here. And then the title of this for most people is not gonna make any sense, but the word is pronounced Okachi. It's the name of the lake. And around where I live, there are a lot of places named um, cities um, and towns and um, parks and that kind of stuff with Native American names because it's a big Native American. Um, the state of Wisconsin had a lot of Native American um, tribes and things and those those people are honored in the names of a lot of places that in my area so it's kind of a, a cool thing it you know pretty historical uh, around here so anyway the funny part about it is is you always know if somebody's from the area or not because they can't pronounce words like this one <laughs> unless you're from the area so Okachi, again, is how it's pronounced. And I'm using a um, two-toned alpha here. I, I often have trouble with those two-toned alphas, but um, I really just, the two blues here, I really loved the way it looked. And I don't know that I had used this before. If I had, it was small. I just had just used a little bit of it. So I was glad to get um, that on a layout. And it just feels fun because it is a 4th of July layout. So now I'm going back and finding some more stickers. By that, by the way, I don't know if I said that Two Tone Alpha is Ellie Studio. Finding some more stickers. So I found some stickers with actual fireworks there. This one I'm going to, there's a firecracker and fireworks. So I'm just adding that up in there. And, um, you know, again, things that are very themed that I may not be able to use on any other summer layout. Let's get them on this one. Now, I do want some sparkle, so I actually went back to some rhinestones. I know, I know, how cool is that? Using some fairly old product, but it's so classic. There's no reason not to use it, and I love the sparkle that this ends up adding to this page. It's perfect for the theme. These rhinestones are from Mrs. Sparkle & Co., the papery rhinestones and diamonds, which is Joann's. That's the Joann's kind of like dollar spot or what used to be in their dollar spot. I don't know that they still have these anymore or not because these, like I said, are fairly old. But love, love, love what they added to this layout. And I actually went on a little rhinestone spree after this and I think pearl spree, adding them to a number of layouts um, just, you know, because they're awesome. <laughs> so I might need to put some of those in my enamel dot basket so I use them more. All right, guys, here's the still shot and a couple of detail shots. Hope you're all well, and I'll be back with another layout again soon. Bye, everybody.